<laughs> hey guys, Jason Guyman here with PressureWashHelp.com and today I'm going to go over a rig. This is not my rig, it's not a rig I built, it's a rig DJ built and I'm just wanting to go over rigs and kind of show different things of how different people do different ways of different things and might be a way that you want to do it, might not. I can give my pointers a yes, no, maybe. But this rig, I had no influence on this at all. Only influence I had on it is he couldn't get the, the, the electric reel um, hooked up. So I had to help him wire it up and, and be able to hook it to a switch. That's the only thing I've had influence on this rig. Now, did he watch my videos? Probably, but he's watched a lot of other videos. So I just want to kind of show you a rig. This rig was, I believe he said it's right around $5,000 is what he's got invested in this rig. It's nothing special. And he's kind of went on, you know, he's wheeled and dealed to get stuff done to get it cheaper. Um, you know, your initial, you think that you can do it for this, it, and it actually adds up over time. It's all the little stuff that adds up. So we're going to kind of walk around the rig, where we got it placed, why he placed it there, the whole nine yards. Um, so. Um, we're going to start with first thing off is he's got two electric hose reels here He's got one in the front and one in the back the back one is a is a electric hose reel that he Wheeled and dealed and got what do you say a hundred dollars? No, this was this was 280 but it came with this uh, electric hose reel and a, a 40 or 30 gallon uh, So he got electric hose reel for $280 You know you got to look on look on marketplace look on different places if you want to try to wheel and deal If you want to go new that's a probably I think it's right around 600 bucks five six hundred dollars So they're expensive So 280 is a good price when you got tank and stuff like that and what's that hose reel there hooked up for? This is for a roof roof pump. It's your roof pump. And how much hose is on it? Uh, this is 225. 225 um, feet of half inch, right? Yes. With the old handy dandy um, garden hose with the connector. And I will I'll put a video together of one of these. I haven't had one yet, but I will hear shortly of what all this entails here um does this work good yeah i love it works good awesome 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 we did go with the big buffer tank um it's 275 gallon buffer tank he's got a little solar panel here to help charge the um, battery down here for um, his roof pump and that's a good idea it, and it does that work good yeah yeah it's, keeps it, it, it keeps it charged and when i'm not uh when i'm not using it it's always on when i'm driving it's always charging all right, and then we got another hose reel here. How much hose is on it? Uh, 450 feet. 450 feet. That's a lot of hose. Um, Don't use it all. <laughs> yeah, you probably wouldn't be able to downstream. Now, he could X jet off of 450 feet. It's fine. But downstreaming, you're probably not going to pull that much. Um, right here, he did do a pretty cool thing. Um, so this thing here, he did a quick connect right here. And he just put a nut on it. I don't think I'm going to be able to see it. He found a nut that would screw onto it. And so he can quick connect his hose in there. So that way when we're driving down the road, it don't go rolling down the hose. I've actually had that happen. It's not a pretty sight. It'll mess up the gun, ball valve, whatever you might have on there. All right, here's his battery. He has just a small um, battery right here. Um, this is a for his roof pump and hose reels. He actually has another battery on his um, pressure washer if you're going to do this way one thing you can do is is hook up negative and positive and run it over to this battery and it'll help also charge this battery but he didn't do that he's actually using the um, the solar panel and that's fine that's fine there is no reason no problem with that out of his tank he just did um, PVC glued PVC um, we can drain the tank right here um, and then the other side goes into a filter, which that is a good thing to do, to do a water filter to help save our pump. So it goes into our pump. Um, from our pump, it is ran, he has ran um, back out. This is our unloader valve. From our unloader valve, we've actually ran a hose up into our tank so that way we can let the gun down and not overheat the pump. We got the the um, right here for our hose. He actually pulls his hose off how much he wants. 
and hooks it right here. He is eventually going to put something over there so we don't got a lot of weight on this right here. He also downstreams. So right here is his soap tank. How many gallons of soap? This is uh, 30 gallons. 30 gallons of soap. And this is water, right? Yeah, that's to flush out the uh, downstream. So right. basically what he can do is, is he puts it into the soap tank. And if he does, now you actually change through nozzles, don't you? Through the Yeah, I do. So he actually changes his pressure through nozzles um, without turning off the, that's how he turns his soap off. He'll do that until he screws somebody's house up. And then, like I had yesterday, they won't do that no more. Um, so you can just sit this, put that over, and then once you're done for the day, you can put it into the water and that'll help clean out our downstreamer. So that way our downstreamer lasts longer. Tell me a little bit about this guy right here. Uh, this is uh, just a four gallon a minute belt driven uh, pressure pro. Auto start, which I love that. I wouldn't go any other way. Um, I'm too old to start hand cranking things. There's no more of this. Just turn the key and go. All right, so that's a four gallon a minute um, with the little Honda. And how long does that gas can last? Uh, it lasts about two and a half, three hours. Two and a half, three hours. So we got to have extra gas on this uh, rig um, with the smaller gas tank. All right, so now we're going to come back here. This is his garden hose. How much garden hose do we have? That's uh, 100 feet of this black, and then I'm trying this this flexible stuff, and that's there's 50 feet of that on there, too. And uh, how's that working for you? No, I, so far, I, I really like it. And what's it called? Zero G? Yeah. Zero G. All right. I may try to find the link if you're all interested in trying it out. Um, that's not something I use. That's something DJ uses. I'm not saying one way or the other. All right, so the next thing is, is the water's coming in through, a, what is that right there, the big white thing? That's a check valve, That's your correct? check valves, yeah, the two check valves, the one for the water, then the one for the soap. So what this has done, he's actually came up here, instead of a mixing valve of like the three mixing valves, he's done the three-way valve. So what this can do is, is he can just crack this um, one little bit here, and what it does is it's running into his five-gallon minute pump here that five right yeah. five gallon minute pump which runs into his hose pump and what you can do is is you're turning that valve just a little bit cracking it and that's going to or halfway whatever and it's going to pull you half soap half water um, reason why you want to check valves is is you don't want soap running back into the water or the water running into the soap um, and that's why we did he did the check valves all right so we have a five gallon minute pump here he's actually wanting to upgrade that here shortly to a seven um, but for now he's got the five which runs into there um, how much garden hose did you say you had on there said, uh, there's 150 feet there. 150 feet of garden hose all right what's all this stuff right here um, so far this is pretty much what I use is little this is his arson and stuff red Raider uh, from Russ Johnson and then same thing uh, lemonade lemonade from Russ Johnson same thing and then uh, some uh, snot Roof's not. Roof's not for Mr. And Russ Johnson. I do use a little bit of a purple power. I've got some dragon juice also. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And he's got an X-Jet sitting in this box here. Yeah, X-Jet, just in case uh, if your downstream ever goes, got yeah. your X-Jet. Or you need to go stronger. Str or stronger, yeah. And then a uh, little yeah, something gutter. Something you never use that you yeah. bought with the pressure washer. Yep. I know exactly what exactly. that is. All right, what surface cleaner you got on here? That's just a regular general pump that came with, I bought the package. You got the package with the two. Yeah, it came, came with. Uh, All right, what's this right here? Now, this will be just extra for extra soap or extra bleach, you know, extra bleach there. And then for wax, if I do, if, if uh, upsell customers wax. want. Yeah, upsell and wax. And then we also got for our pressure wash hose here, it coming in right here, or for our, our water hose, it's coming in. It comes through a filter too, so it filters it out before it goes into the tank. And he's got a little extra hose here to actually, if you get crap in your eyeballs, you can get it out. Um, that's a good safety thing if you get, you know, stuff on your hands and stuff like that. All right, um, what size trailer is this? It's a uh, six by eight. Six by eight. Um, so it's a nice looking rig. It, it's actually set up really nice. Um, it, it does really well. Um, he, uh, it, you know, you're not going to haul a lot of water with that. Hopefully, he, he's no, smarter empty, than that. Empty, empty out water. After, after, after these after axles, I believe, I don't even think these are 3,500 axles. They might be, but that's a lot of weight if you tried to fill that up. He does have the, the fire extinguisher, which is 
a good thing to keep on there. I mean, you also got a fire extinguisher with all your pressure wash hose, but it's in, in your garden hose is also another good way to do it. Um, he just mounted his water tank using eye bolts and using a two straps to go over it. Um, you're not keeping a lot of weight. Um, I've actually just came up and hooked to here before and pull straight down and it, it's going to do the same thing. Um, other than this, I think it's a great looking rig. Um, it's a money maker and we love money makers. If you want to check out marketing stuff, go up here and check out my Google ads. I go in detail of how to set up Google ads, how to run them, everything. And also if, check out my signs here. I've got a really good, I'm putting a lot of stuff in the signs here and I'll, and I'll keep you updated on it and, uh, hope to see you there and, uh, watch those videos. Thanks.